Senior High School, 16 points. Okuapeman School, 20 points. Koforidia Secondary Technical School, 20 points. Round two. This is the speed race. And here, all questions are open to all schools at the same time. The first school to ring the bell and gives the correct answer will earn three points. If that answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point to them. The second school can answer for two points. The second answer is also incorrect. The third or the fourth school can answer. So third answer, one point. Fourth answer, one point. At any time, an incorrect answer is negative one. If you ring your bell and you do not give an answer, you delay unnecessarily. We move on and you still lose a point. Okay. So also if you, get, you give me an answer, you start by, it's a fraction with, and you don't end up giving me a fraction, it's zero. If you tell me two brackets multiplying, and you end up giving me only one bracket, it's zero. So make sure you have an answer. It's actually not zero, minus one. Okay. Okay, so our first question. Calculate the number of carbon atoms in the compound with the molecular formula CX H12 O5, given that its molar mass is 176. KSTS. Nine. No. Okwapeman. No, hold on, hold on. Sorry. St. Peter's rang their bell. Yes, it's seven. How long, how long will it take 512 grams of a radionuclide with a half-life of seven days to decay to eight points? St. Peter's. It is 28 days. No. Who else? 8.00 grams. Yes, so Kwapeman. 42 days. Yes, it's 42 days. <laughs> Calculate. Calculate the oxidation state of element X in H3X5O7. Okay. It is positive 11 no. over 5. I won't accept it. Who else rang the bell? Who else rang the bell? Nifa. Positive 11 over 5. That's just what they said. Anybody else? Plus. One. Yes. Plus 2.2. .2. Yes. <laughs> Do we... Do we normally give oxidation states in fractions? Yes. The chemistry teachers, we do that. They were still calculating, so they had rang the bell. You wanted me to calculate 2.2 .2 from 11 over 5. Okay. Our next question. Find the coordinates of the stationary point of the curve y equals 2x cubed Minus 3x squared plus. Go ahead. The x coordinate is 0, then the y coordinate is 4, or the x coordinate is 1, and the y coordinate is 3. No. Anybody else rang the bell? Plus five. Oko man. Zero comma five and one comma four. Yes. <laughs> solve. So solve two expressions multiplying. 
The first expression is 2 cos x plus 1. The second expression is tan x plus 1 equals 0. So this, um, yes, go ahead. X is equal to 3 pi on 4 radians. No. OK, so all of this equals 0. Yes. X is equal to 5 pi on 6 radians. Or X is equal to 3 pi on 4 radians. No. In the interval, 0 less than X less than pi. Kuapiman. X is equal to 2 pi over 3 radians. Or X is equal to 3 pi over 4 radians. That is correct. Find. Find the coordinates of the image of the point A. 5 comma negative 3 after it is reflected in the point P 3 comma negative X coordinate is 1 and the Y coordinate is negative 5 no negative 5 St. Peter's the X coordinate is 1 and the Y coordinate is negative seven. Yes, that's correct. Find, find the greatest height attained by a projectile launched with a speed 40 points. Yes. It is 80 points. Zero meters. No. Forty point zero meters per second at an angle. KSCS. Why is Twenty point zero meters. No. Forty five degrees above the horizontal. Yes. Forty point zero meters. No. So I have 40.8 meters. So this is because of the value of G you used. We'll come to that. Find the magnitude of the magnetic flux density in the interior of a very long solenoid wound with 125 tens per centimeter when the current in it is 4.0 amperes. KSCS. Six point three by 10 raised to an exponent of negative five Tesla. No. Who else rang the bell? Yes. Okay, so we have six point three by ten exponent negative two Tesla. That's correct. It's sixty three milli Tesla. Name the conservation law that explains the observation that the speed of a projectile launched upward decreases as its height above the launch point increases. What conservation law explains that the speed of a projectile launched upward decreases as its height above the launch increases? Law of energy conservation. How many tissue layers make up the menin? 
Three. Yeah, three. So make up the meninges, and it's three layers. What, what kind of hormones are released by the testes? Steroid hormones. Yes, yeah, steroids. <laughs> Name the waxy substance that protects the skin. The sebum. No. That protects the skin of the fetus from the amniotic fluid. It's the vernix cassiosa. And that brings us to the end of round two.